Welcome to day 65 of my 100 days of Firefly journey. Today we're going to continue on yesterday's topic which is variables. I'm going to go through one of my old projects and I'm going to change most of the style guide styles to variables so that I can reuse them easily across the website and that if someone else works on the project they can easily find the sizes and the styles that has been set up in the style guide or that we set up in the beginning of the project. So. Let's see how that is done. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up and stay tuned on this 100 days of Firefly journey. Let's go. So what I've done here is create variables out of my styles. So I went to the style guide that I already have and I changed the global styles that I frequently use into variables so that I'm kind of making my own style guide and variables. Now, why am I doing this? Let's say, for example, I want to add a new section. So if I add a new section here, let's say this is a style guide, so I'm adding a new section, and I want to say the vertical padding, I want to know the vertical padding of the section. Now, I can add a class, but say I'm doing a custom, uh, a custom section, and I just want it from the bottom, so I can go to, to the variables, and I can see the vertical medium for padding sections. This is the one I'm using, so I can use it from down. And here I can say it's a bigger one, so I can just put 10 rems. Or even if I want to create a variable for that, if I'm going to use it more than once, I can do that. Um, and this is can this can be useful to create things that can stay consistent. Now, for example, in the case of uh, button large, so this is button secondary large. Now, for example, here in the case of button, for example, this is button secondary small and this is button primary small. I created a padding called it, uh, I created the variable called it padding side. So button small padding side, and I'm using the same variable here, button small padding side. So now if I changed the button small padding side, side on, on the variables here, for example, uh, button small padding size to be let's say three rems I can go back and see that it changed on the all body smalls because I'm using the same variable now this can be useful again to keep your website consistent also uh, in case you're working on a project with other people so this way they can easily just uh, find let's say for example this text or I'm gonna create a text block and I want to style this text block now it's styled by default from here. So if I want to change the, the text style and I want to have like a heading one font size, so I can just find that from the variables. I can even look for it. So let's say H1 font size and I want the H1 font height. So I can click H1 and I can find font height. And now I have an H1. I can even get the text main so I can get the same color. Uh, unfortunately, weight is not yet being done as variable, so that's something you will have to do uh, custom. But um, you can also do that with some CSS if you are up for it. So this is variables. Uh, I think this is going to be a great thing uh, for the future. Now, this is one of the old projects that I went back to and I'm building it with variables just to test this method out. And I want to make sure that if more people work on this project, things stay consistent, especially when it comes to sizes, when it comes to fonts, when it comes to all these tiles. Thank you for watching the video. I hope I taught you something today. Stay tuned on this 100 days of Fofla journey by subscribing. Give this video a like if you liked it. See you tomorrow in day 66.